Hey everyone, so today I'll be reviewing the Carmen Professional Salon Pro 3G Flat Iron and I'm super excited to show you guys how I get my super curly hair bone straight. The products that I used today were from the Agave Healing Oil line. I used the smoothing shampoo and conditioner and then the oil treatment to actually straighten my hair. I go ahead and start off with freshly blow dried hair. As you can see, this side is already done. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys how I use the styling iron on the rest of my hair in this video. My secret to super sleek hair for natural curly hair is definitely blow drying it almost bone straight. As you guys can see, this is my hair with it's just been blow dried. It has not been touched by the flat iron yet, but it is incredibly smooth. And I have to make it this way in order to make sure that my hair can get bone straight. Now I'm applying the oil about a dime size to each half of my head and then as I go through if I need to add more oil I will. This oil is incredibly light so it doesn't build up at all and it's nice to use on my natural hair because I can um, apply as much as needed but it doesn't get weighed down either. After I've got the product all the way through my hair. I'm going to go ahead and section off my sections in order to start flat ironing. I'm going to use a brush, a bristle brush today instead of using a comb uh, to create tension on my hair and whenever I'm pulling the flat iron through and actually straightening each piece. A couple things that I really love about this flat iron is that it is one, it's great for curling. I don't show it here in the video but it is so easy to curl with this iron because it is incredible incredibly sleek in style. Also it has 100% turbaline ceramic plates which is great for making sure that you don't cause as much damage to your hair when you're using the heat styler. It also goes up to 460 degrees so for especially us natural hair girls uh, we need that heat to really get our natural curls straightened out and so I love using that and that it is adjustable um, so I can adjust the temperature as needed but of course I'm definitely using a heat protectant as you should whenever you use any kind of heat tool. Alrighty so I'm gonna go ahead and let the video play please let me know if you guys have any questions or comments and let me know down below. Alrighty thanks for watching.